Welcome once again to Seven Coding Academy. In this tutorial, I want to teach you how you can use OBS Studio for recording. For us to kick start it, let's not waste time. Go straight to Google. When you get to Google, type OBS. OBS. And to Google, type OBS. Then immediately to open obsproject.com. Click on obsproject.com. Click on obsproject.com. Now, by default, you see there is window, there is Mac, there is Linux. But by default, Windows already prints stuff for you to use. If you are using a window with like me, you click on Windows. If you are using Mac, you go to Mac. But since I'm using window, I will not waste time, so I click on Windows. So you click on Window. The bit of OBS that is a free software, it's a free source, you don't pay for it. And you record and video very, very well. Now let's hold down a little for it to get, you can see it. Let's install it, it, download first, so we can continue from there. So why is download now, I'll be talking. OBS has a lot of advantage because it's a free software, as I said, and it's an open source. So with OBS, you can record anything, read anything. I will show you how this is done in a Jiffy. Let's just need downloading, still downloading. What is true? And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm taking me this lecture for free. The only thing you can give me back to subscribe to my channel. And you have an advantage. Subscribe to my channel. Once I release videos like this, you'll be the first you YouTube will notify you, and you can easily go and watch it and learn. And if you also have suggestions, if you also have better ideas kindly bring it i like people share information that is why i was able to bring up myself to teach freely anything that i learn okay it's still downloading so that's what i'm talking once it's downloading we'll continue our work and we'll progress so let's watch let's watch it's almost almost done it's almost done mm -hmm. it's almost done you can see my mouse let me take it aside see that it's almost done almost done mm -hmm. so we are true click on it click on it and click open welcome to OBS studio click next click next of course they have uh, some license agreement if you want get if you have time you can retreat don't have time like me you continue but don't fail to agree first you must agree to the license agreement. And once you agree, you click next. This is where they are going to put it program file OBS Studio. I'm okay with this, but if I'm okay with this, you can click on browse and decide where you want your OBS Studio to be. Okay, but I'm okay with this, I will click on install right away. It's installing. That is the finish. I will continue. Once the installation is true, we will continue. Once it's true, you click on finish. I'm supposed to view it, okay. Just hope it appear for us to see it. Mm. Yeah, our BS studio has appeared. If you check, there's some button there. Yes, it's optimized for streaming. Recording is secondary. Third one say optimized just for recording. I will not be streaming. And that's one say I will only be using the virtual camera. You can choose any of them. But since we are actually only listening now on recording, so I will choose optimize just for recording. I will not be streaming. So click there and then click next. 
you see what he's telling you right now he says specify the video setting you would like to use best camera resolution this position that UBS has choose for based on my system so i will go with it but if you want to go with it you can from here you make your selection okay then for the eps2 you can make your selection from here but i am okay with this so i will go with this let's click on next so this is what they are telling you now testing complete say so the program has determined that this estimated setting are id for you which i believe is okay for me so i will go with it so the next thing to do is to come down and click on apply settings For the first time now, you see, if you are using BS Studio, you see what is appearing here. So sometimes you may get confused, may not know what to do now because of the ocean. But you don't worry, if you check, everything is working. The desktop audio is here. The auxiliary audio is here. Both of them are working. It's like the desktop audio is not working, the auxiliary audio is working. Okay, let's see how it goes. But at least you see that it's working. So, it's working. So let's now come over here to source. You see source? In that source you choose. Click on source. Hmm. If you check on the source, you see this application audio capture, audio input capture, audio output capture, color sources, display capture, game capture. For those who want to who are into game, or you have to talk about display capture, to capture one that show your stream. So click on display capture and that will be shown there. Then, so click on display capture. Now, for this display capture, you can decide to change the name, but let's leave it like this for now. But the more you have more work, you can change the name. So click on OK. Now, everything has come up. You can see all our everything. We are ready. The stream is being recorded, it's ready to start recording. So but before we do, let's go to settings and set some some things up. So come here, click on file, and click on settings. General setting, language, theme, those ones are okay. But if you want to change it, you can change it. So, but for me, this is okay. So I'm not changing anything. So let's go to output mode. Under output mode, you see your simple. For this simple, let's check it advanced side. I will say do one or two things on it then. Now, for the simple type, for the advanced type, you come over here. The twitch, everything is okay. So I'm not changing anything here. It is okay, but let's go to the recording type. So for the recording type, you can generate a file name for your space. But I don't want to narrate that encoding. You can also change your encoding if you want to. You can choose any of the encoding style you want. But I think this should be okay. Let's use the default. But if you don't like the default, you can choose any of the encoding screen. Like 264 is okay as well. So you choose anyone. Then for custom user setting, you can also put it if you want to. But I think I'm okay with this. So at least. Since the setting is okay by me, I should move on to the next one. Though sometimes you want to can change your bitrate if the video is not doing well. So let's go to audio. For audio, the 160 is okay, everything is okay, the paper fat is okay. So I'm not work too much on that. It's 160, but I can go 44, you can go 48. For example, if you scroll here on your audio setting, you can change it to the one you like. But I think 160 is okay, so I'll go with 160, but you can change it if you want to. For recording on that browser, you can decide how you want it, but this is okay if you want 
browser you can click on it and but i like it on my video but if you don't want you can click on browser and change it to the one you like maybe if you want to be on your desktop or anywhere you can change but let's do that default default is okay by me so let's click on apply and then click on okay and now we are back we are done with that so if let's just record and see if it goes smoothly but i still want to do one thing on settings this remote recording if you go to settings under video i want to do one thing let me check that something i want to do that will help us mm -hmm. under video so if you come over here this this one is okay so i'm i'm okay by it the 30 is okay so i'm not going to do any major changes right there you know the dance scale is okay dance scale is okay the common 30 valve is okay so i'm not going to do much work there <clears throat> but good advance it's okay this is mv bit is okay so i just want to check to make sure everything is okay before we go ahead and record okay so the direct reading yes yes everything is okay so since it's okay you click on okay click on okay so make sure that everything is okay now let's now come over here and then for you to start you go to controls if you see control here yeah, it says start streaming start recording start virtual camera but we are doing recording so what we do is we're going to click on start recording so that we can record let's click on start recording and now that it has started recording if you now screw down <coughs> you see that if you record this if you record this you see everything will be recorded for us to see so we are seeing the way the whole thing is recorded and it's recording you check all your scene your, your scene is okay don't worry the next class i will teach you how you can work on your scene how you can put your, your webcam and all that you know because even as it's recording you can still be changing some things adding some things even as it's recording so in the next class i'll teach you that but this is how it works this is your obs studio once you finish recording your stream you now click on stop recording and if you want to stop recording you can now listen to it and see what you've recorded okay so for you to listen to it you go to your video if you go to your video file from videos you will see it then you click it and watch all that you've recorded are you following me so this is how you can install obs studio and work with it let's go to the next class i will now show you how you can check all that has been recorded right now thank you so much mm -hmm.